Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past. I'm the Just Saying. In the last episode, we made our way through Turtle Rock, picked up the final crystal, and got the last piece of the heart. In this episode, we're going to make our way to the final boss of the game. Well, we hope, anyway. <laughs> and Ganon, in Ganon's Tower. Let's, and luckily for us, we don't need to go very far, it's just up here, to the left. Where the, um, actually where the Tower of Hyra was. And here it is here. Little cutscene plays. As you can probably tell, you can't open this place until you have all the crystals. The staircase comes down. And we're invited in by that chime. Let's go in. You can always run up those stairs. It's a little faster, but you know. And here we are. Final tower. Dungeon. Uh, there's two paths, right or left. The easier path is actually the left side. So we'll go down the left side. Um, from here, get the small key. And go left. There's no need to go right. This dungeon is actually su surprisingly easier than you may think. You may think, oh, it's the final dungeon. It's going to be full of traps and surprises and stuff. No, it's not actually that hard. Okay. A bit of a hook ch challenge though. Not too hard to do. I think we have eyes. <laughs> Um, this small key door actually has the map in it. Um, get it if you want. I'm not going to go out of my way to get it, simply because I don't really need it. It's just one of those things if, yeah. Make sure to raise, make sure to raise the blue tiles and then leave. Otherwise you won't be able to get through here. Oh, look out. No, not gonna fire. Apparently this dungeon gives out small keys like then or tomorrow. <laughs> Look out for these splat traps. Pretty easy to dodge. Just got, gotta get the timing right. This room might look a little dangerous, but you can't make your way over. Or can you? Move this side, this lone block over. Pick up the key. Well, who will try over, then pick up the key. <laughs> and go through the door. Damn it. Uh, you, you met with this small puzzle. Go to the right. And go to the bottom left. Then bottom left again. Make your way over to the right here. Look out for the hard hats, although you should be able to one shot them with your level 4 sword. Go through the teleporter, because you have to. Hmm, I wonder where to go. There's a teleporter again. And that's that solved. We did it, guys! Alright. Make your way up here, look out again for the hard hats. I say look out because they can bounce you back. Ah, oh, damn it, like that. Alright, so you want to make your way up here. Don't go through that door. See that lamp just there? Use your fire rod. Light it up. And then it, it shows you the path. The hidden floor path. And if anything, I probably should have taken out these hard hats first. That's alright. Because I have a backup plan. Oh, sh There's the floor. Whoa, that was close. I can walk there. Alright, cool. And just go up into this door. Bomb this bottom right door here. If you need fairies, Use your powder on the anti fairies. Grab the chest. Bomb the floor. 
in any particular order. <laughs> and fall down. And we are met with a familiar boss. Guy, you guys might remember these guys from the very first dungeon. But these guys are a cakewalk, there's gonna be a lot of arrows, because it's basically a one shot. As soon as you can hit. Oh, stay back! Stay back! And after you've done that, go up. You make three treasure chests. The middle one contains the big key. You need this for later, obviously. And this one is arrows, and that one's bombs. Thank you for telling me how to use bombs for the hunt. Appreciate it. Alright, so now, the left. As soon as you can get in there, and you'll see a crack door. Instead of bombing it, just run into it. And this is one of two fairy fountains for this level. And because I'm already full on fairies, I'm gonna leave and go up, some, up the stairs. And look at that, there's the big chest. So, open the big chest, get the red mail. Now we're purple and red. Looks pretty good. Anyway, go north. North again. And look, we're back where we started. Cool! <laughs> so now that we have the big key, we can go in the middle here. Things, in the, things start getting a little harder in this room, but not too hard. Oh no, I'm in. <laughs> Alright. So you want to make your way over to the top left here. Push that down and the door opens. And then make your way back. And now... Alrighty. Now for the fun part. So... Yes, got him. Alright. Well, no, that's going to hit me. That's what's that. It's not those guys that have the problems, it's the spike traps. Alright, same again. Keep in mind you can block their fireballs, so just stand, you can stand in front of them like that, but you still get hit by those guys, so be careful. Once the room's clear, go up, and up again. I really wish you wouldn't do that, Link. <laughs> Alright, and you met with this room. Go down a level first. Press that button. Ow, thank you for that. And it opens the door. I'm just gonna kick it. Oh, scary. Well that didn't help at all. Thank you for that. Make your way back up. Now this time now go through here. Run past this. You can actually use a magic cape to make it easier. I'll just show that off. Dum de dum de dum. Oh look at that, I made it. Um if you run into that and bounce over, bomb this, you can actually make it over here. But if you bomb that, walk down into here, it's the second fairy fountain. Yay! But there's also a little secret in here. If you get the, if you open up this pot, there's a full magic thing. Grab that and leave. To get back over, simply just hook shot. Too easy. Go up. Now it's mostly just clear the room. Run straight past that, you don't want that to hit you. And we are met with another familiar boss. From level 2 this time. If you hit them with, if you 
managed to hit these guys with the bow and silver arrows, it's a one shot. Not easy to do, but it's possible. And the room will just open up. And you can go up. Um, get your ether out. And as these guys appear, use it. For two reasons. A, it shows you where you can go. And B, it gets rid of all the enemies in the room. Run all the way across here. Ignore everything. There's nothing in there worth stopping for. And do the same in this room. Just a cool, easy way to get rid of those guys. Keep running, just keep running and gunning. Alright, now for the funnest room of the dungeon. Lamp, light all these lamps, one of those normal puzzles. Supposed to light all the lamps and then go through there. So, yeah. Made it second shot time. Um, in this pot there is a magic pot. A thing that'll give you two magic, so don't worry too much about getting it just now. Uh, in this room it's a bit of a time puzzle. Get your fire rod out. Get the bottom ones first, because the floor disappears. And then get the two on the side. This one here will drop a small key. Not that I need it, because I've still got one of the ones from before. <laughs> Sorry about that, it'll be easier. Um, these chests contain, both contain bombs, I believe. Yep. Why are they give, still giving us bombs? Who knows? Oh, wait, never mind. Because <laughs> of this puzzle. Alright. What are you gonna do? Throw a bomb. Oh. Hope that it lands on the conveyor belt and blows up that right, part there. Now you gotta just gotta time it properly. And yeah, too easy. Oh. Make your way into the middle. You can't. You can't use your magic powder on these guys to get a fairy, unfortunately. But, go into the middle and get the small key. Use your magic powder on these guys, just because extra health could hurt. Try not to do that. Make your way back out, and leave. Gotcha. Finally, the third boss of the game. Just Power up. you can fall down here, look out. Just power up your sword twice, whack him with it, and he's gone. Too easy. Doesn't drop a heart, unfortunately, <laughs> like in the other game, but it does make that chest appear, making it able for us to uh, hook shot across. Now make your way to the left, to the left, to the left. No need. Oh, wait. What am I might do. Use your magic cape. Make this room a bit easier because you don't actually need to worry about anything in this room. Just keep going north. And guess what, guys? We made it. Final boss time. Let's do this. Oh, look who it is. This boss is a lot like the first time we faced him, except for this time he has a couple of blocks. Makes, makes it a little bit easier because you can fire more. 
Throw more stuff back at him. Do more times. But always make sure to be facing the, the non shadow one. Oh, look at that. They all land in the same spot. That's awesome. Man. Wasted that. Look at him. Three times. Oh well. Maybe this time. Game over! We did it! Oh my god, what is that? It's a bat! Get him! Get him! Get out of here! No, oh, come back here! I didn't say you could leave! And how did that happen? waiting for us. But I'm going to call it here for an episode, guys. Um, they're just saying, signing out. Have fun and see you later, guys.